Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're going to be making this recently extinct Caribbean monk seal right here, which was an adorable species. Uh, but unfortunately in the 1952, they became extinct. Actually in 1952, it was the last time one of these seals was seen alive in the Caribbean and actually in 1960s when they declared it finally extinct. But I'm going to show you step by step how to make this and I hope you enjoy. If you do, make sure you click and subscribe. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. To start our Caribbean monk seal, we're going to go and place our hand on the side that's 12 inches. And this is 12 by 18 paper. The 18 is going down here. So we start at the very top and I'm going to go down a whole hand width and I'm just going to put a mark in the middle here of this 12. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve over and kind of do a rainbow arch, curve over. You want that rainbow arch to be as wide or wider, actually much wider than your hand. So now I'm going to come down and down. So you can see how my hand is in here and there's a space on both sides of my hand. And this is like a nice curve on the top for his head. I'm going to con continue down. I'm moving my paper up so you can see it a little bit more. I'm going to continue coming down and down. And right now I'm right at the middle of my paper. So this is going to be the head. And then his shoulder area is going to just widen and come out. So I'm just kind of gracefully coming out to the bottom of my page. And if you notice, I'm about a finger from the bottom edge. And I'm going to come down and just gracefully go out to the bottom edge. So this is a pretty large scale seal here. It starts out narrow at the head and then his shoulders taper out like that. So we're working the whole page. Now we're going to go to the top here of this head area and we're going to go ahead and sketch in. Let me show you on here. See from the top of my page? We're going to sketch in his little face. So I'm going to skip down probably about three fingers from the center of his head and I'm going to put a mark, three fingers down. I'm going to do the similar shape as we did here. I'm just going to come down like a rainbow arch and down. A rainbow arch. In the very middle, I'm going to put a line. So I find the center of that arch and drop down. This is going to be part of his little um, nose area. Then I'm going to curve around and curve around and gently curve back up. Gently curve back up. His, this is like his muzzle area. Now I'm going to do a diagonal line down and curve around and come back up. A diagonal line the opposite way, curving down and around. There's two diagonal nostrils. Underneath this, I'm going to put a straight line. I'm going to make this wider so you can see it. We'll kind of like blow it up there for the detail of this stuff. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm mimicking the shape. So I curve down and back up. Curving down and then curve around and back up. This is his mouth area right in here. So if you want to just make a little line in here. This is the darker area inside his mouth. And then his nostrils can even get colored in too. And this you can do later on if you want. Now any of these rough edges, I'm just gonna kind of fix and smooth out there. Now a little chin area, I'm just gonna put a slight curve here 
to give some chin definition. Now these seals, these Caribbean monk seals, have really beautiful, nice, big, round eyes. So visualize where your eyes are going. So if I take this diagonal line and I bring it up to the very center of this space, so I'm gonna visualize, I'm gonna come up and just put a dot there. And on the other side, I'm taking this diagonal, coming up to this center area, and I'm putting a dot here. So I'm centering the, the eye in this space and on this space. Now I'm gonna make a circle around that. This circle is gonna be the size almost of a penny, maybe a hair smaller. A penny or a dime. Maybe it's, maybe it's more like a dime. Now inside, do another small circle inside that. And then they have, he has, they show these corners, the corners of his eyes. It's very big and rounded, but we do see some of the corner of the eye. So what I do is I bring this li line down and bring this line down just in the corners here, just on this corner. And now I'm going to do some whiskers that come out. And when we do the whiskers, we kind of do it as a quick sketch. They come out from this area, and well, I kind of up and flick it. Then I do some short ones down, a few long ones at the top, and then we get some tinier ones in here. And just put an odd number. Usually artists work with odd numbers, five, seven. We don't wanna put nine, that's too many whiskers. Even though he does have more whiskers, but we just want the feeling that there's whiskers there. We don't want to draw every single whisker. It, it would look too uh, complicated and too many lines. So we simplify this. Now, this is the area where you can color in dark. So this is actually his pupil, which is pretty dark. So I'm coloring in this area, and you want to color it in with a, a black later on. Now that's basically our seal. Now let me blow this back, bring it back out. And we have our sweet little Caribbean monk seal. And this was actually the last one spotted. If you want to write that in the top here, the last monk seal that was spotted was in 19. So I'm going to go 1952. 1952 is the last time this monk seal was spotted in the wild. Now, it was declared it was declared extinct in the 1960s but this is the last time it was ever seen so i'm going to write this number down because uh, they didn't keep track of this kind of thing as much back then but since it was the last time it was ever spotted in the wild that's the date i'm going to use as the caribbean monk seal being extinct now we can add I want this to be like a, a beautiful painting and I want him to be maybe on the shore. We don't see the bottom flippers down here. Some of you may have room and if you do just at end him and then just add a flipper on each end here. Let me show you if you do have room. You shouldn't have room if you follow the directions but if you do let me continue this and show you what it would look like. I would end his body say here and then this could become just his little flipper on, on the sand, like that. That's how I would make him. And you could put some wrinkles on the flipper here. But that's how you would extend him down if you have room for him. But I'm going to have this as a view. He is going to be, uh, you know, on the shores in the Caribbean, on one of the islands. So if we put a horizon line or a horizontal line on each side, that way we could show this is maybe the sand area here, and then this could be the water lines, the, the waves here. So we could paint in some lines here, signifying this is ocean and water, and then we could do some lines down here as sand. So we're gonna add some color to him now. We're gonna use some tempera paints here. And the, 
the paintings, the picture that we're doing today is on a light, light purple, but if you did a white painting, that's fine. A white picture. Um, you can do the same method. We're, I'm gonna load up with some teal and we're not gonna paint this all in. I'm just gonna kind of show representation of the ocean. So I'm using a wide brush and I'm just doing my waves here in a light teal. And you can do this with watercolor even. And just this just sim symbolizes or uh, waves and water, just to give a feel that he is, you know, in the beach or on the shores in the Caribbean. That's why I'm using this teal color here. And so we just do horizontal lines. And I'm not doing, let me show you on this example. I'm not doing waves like this or drastic. I'm just doing a gentle wiggle on my brush here. And you wanna end them in different places. And of course, you can use all your values of blue. Dark blues and light blues. You can even do some white waves since we have, we're doing um, purple paper. You could do white waves, that'd be pretty. So that's how we add in our waves. Then you want to work on your beach area down here. And so you can do some white sands. You can put in some pink down in here and paint in this area, the sandy area. Since we have this light purpley paper, um, I was thinking that we'd do some mixed media. And if we take the chalk and just lightly go over it with some white, and then on our edges, if you take a little bit of black, just lightly, and I'm using the side here, and blend it with the white, we're gonna get, and even if you smudge it with your finger, you're gonna get a light gray seal that's gonna be beautiful. Now, the key to this is the white first. Now I'm going around my eyes, and it's lightly doing white. And then the black is very light pressure, very light pressure with your hand. And then I can blend this from the black right into the white. So I want the black just to be near the edges and then this goes right in. Now you do not want to blow this chalk. You do not want to blow any of the dust. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I'm finishing up my painting. I added um, some black. First of all, I did mostly white everywhere and then I very lightly did black and then blended it in. Now, what I was working on just recently is adding my, whoops, adding my white to this. And I did my yellow sandy beaches down here. And I wanted a lot of the turquoise color because the Caribbeans have, have beautiful light turquoisey green waters that are just so beautiful because the sands are white sands and so it reflects the sky and just pick, picks up the the intense turquoise colors of the water the depths of the sea it's so beautiful to see in the caribbean so we want to make sure we have a lot of that beautiful turquoise color so i used a lot of white the last i did was my white and i just kind of hit it on top like this being careful right on the edges then how I finished this off was I took some deep, to finish this off, I took some uh, dark blue and I just traced my edges right in here with some dark blue. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the whiskers again because I ended up going over the whiskers with the white, so I wanna bring back my whiskers. So just very carefully, I'm taking a fine liner brush. Let's see if I like this one better. Mm. And I'm going to bring back my whiskers. Just right on top. And I just chose to do it, um, this dark blue. A brown would even look good too. And then I'm just going back over any of this area that got a little bit smudged with the chalk rubbing. 
just bringing back my detail. And there is the finished seal. The Caribbean monk seal, which is a sad story. And there we have our extinct Caribbean monk seal. So we will always remember their existence.